Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's session. Um, today, we are going to cover a pretty exciting topic. Um, this is a new set of offerings uh, from LLMware. It's the Dragon Model Series. Uh, what we aspire to do with this mo new model series is to build the best open source 7 billion parameter uh, retrieval augmented generation models. So let's dive right in um, and, and give you a quick overview of what is Dragon. So this is going to be for those who are mathematically inclined. Um, let's start with a simple math equation. First, uh, we start with the leading open source foundation models. You've got, of course, a llama. You've got a falcon. Uh, you have red pajama. That the trees bending um, is actually, that's a mistral. Um, for those who don't know, a mistral is a strong wind. Um, what you see then on the bottom, um, what's interesting, the picture on the left, um, this is actually true. We ask Stable Diffusion, what does a stable AI genius look like? And it's actually that pensive looking gentleman in the restaurant um, at the bottom left. There's E, uh, which is a fantastic um, new model series from uh, 01 AI. Um, and then Desi AI, which of course refers to some form of the metric system. Now you start with these leading foundation models. Uh, you add to that uh, the RAG fine tuning, um, all of the proprietary training materials that uh, we've curated over the course of the last 18 months, the methodology, the tasks, and, and the capabilities. We run each of these models through this extensive fine tuning process. And what comes out um, is a dragon which breathes fire. And anybody that's seen Game of Thrones knows at the end of the day, the dragon is the ultimate cheat code. It is what you want. Um, it is supreme over all of the other animals and pajamas and winds. Um, and so that is what we have aspired to create here is what we believe will ultimately be the best models to use RAG in open source on private cloud. Now, for those who are less mathematically inclined, let's walk through um, with some words a little bit more about what these Dragon models are. Uh, so Dragon um, actually stands for Delivering RAG On. Um, it's a model series um, that we have launched um, in open source. Uh, we launched it just a couple of weeks ago in mid-November 2023. It consists of seven um, open source models that uh, we have brought through our RAG fine-tuning methodology. They're all available um, in the LLMware repo on Hugging Face. You can also pull them all down um, through the Transformers library. And they're built on, as, as the pictures on the previous slide showed, the, the leading um, open source commercially uh, licensed um, uh, model foundations, both 6 billion parameters and 7 billion parameter models, you know, Llama, Mistral, E, Red Pajama, Stable LM, Falcon, and Desi. They all include um, easy to get started generation scripts with first tier integration into LLMware. Um, and we're gonna explain that in, in, in some follow-up videos, some of the really, really cool use cases and things that you're able to do with these models when you start bringing them together um, with LLMware. And then we've also benchmark test them. And please check out the separate video and blog postings on the RAG Instruct benchmark um, that we've developed, again, put out into open source. But the idea behind it is just to give a common sense framework so you can start to evaluate um, the strengths and the weaknesses of a particular model for your use case. Now, Dragon um, actually joins two other model families that we've put um, into open source. And the one we're gonna quickly reference here is Bling. Um, Bling was trained in a very similar type, type of methodology the Bling models are all 1 billion to 3 billion parameters. They're really optimized for either more simple extraction ta tasks or um, for testing and rapid prototyping. The idea is you could be developing on your laptop, um, use a Bling model, and then quickly have an upgrade path when you want to move to production and move to a GPU model with Dragon. You're going to see very, very similar kinds of behavior. You're just going to see higher accuracy rates um, with Dragon. Now, one of the questions that we've gotten is, well, what does that actually mean to fine tune for RAG? And do you need to fine tune for RAG? Well, what we've actually done here, we want to explain the methodology so everyone understands what we've done and why we've done it. Uh, first is we, we focus on, on complex business documents. Um, when, when you think about most enterprise RAG use cases, it's going to be in financial, it's going to be in legal, they are going to be complex business documents that have a lot of numbers, names, um, very specific uh, domain terminology. And it's going to be closed context. Um, and the idea is that in, in RAG, you're going through some retrieval step to identify and aggregate a set of fact-based information that's in some private contextual knowledge base. Take that, 
package it um, with a question, and then ask it to the model. So it's closed context. And so what we wanted to do was to build a fine-tuning data set that was all grounded in closed context question answering and to avoid hallucinations. And then focused on a lot of the key question answering tasks. So for a 7 billion parameter model, if you're looking to get the same kind of performance that you can get in a model that's 10 times or 20 times you know, larger, we want to focus on a core set of instructions around the key types of question answering tasks that are most likely to come up in a RAG-based scenario, whether that's key value extraction, multiple forms of summarization, um, recognition of things like not found classification, recognition of certain value types, um, yes, no categorization, and other types of basic question answering um, analytics. And then finally, we wanted to train the model to give short and consistent answers that can be handled programmatically, um, as well as fed into um, programmatic workflows for automated classification. Now, does it work? Well, um, this is um, these are the results um, of the seven models. Now, all of these results are actually published with the model, along with the scoring tests, along with the scripts. You can go replicate these um, on your own. Um, but what you see, and if you focus just very quickly on the middle column of the score, this is an actual overall accuracy. We asked 100 questions, um, standard questions, to each of these models. Um, so it's simulating a RAG-based scenario in which a passage context is, is passed along with a question with financial information, contractual legal information, um, invoices, technical, business, uh, and news. And you can see a very, very high degree of accuracy for all of the models here. To get more information um, on this, please check out the separate video that walks through the methodology around the, the RAG benchmark. And we're actually gonna go look at each of these in the, um, in the repository where you can get the individual results for specific models. So where do you get them and how do you get more information about them? And this is where we're gonna jump in just a second. Um, you can go to Hugging Face. Um, and just go to the LLMware homepage, and that's where we're gonna jump right now. And on that homepage um, is where you're actually gonna find all the information about the Dragon models and the Dragon collection. So jumping over to that right now, um, here you can see um, our uh, organization uh, uh, homepage. Uh, you can see each of the three collections, the Dragon models, the Bling models, and the Industry BERT. Uh, we're just gonna jump to the Dragon model collection, and you can see a list of the seven models, um, each of these then can be invoked um, using transformers. And we're going to jump to the, um, the Dragon Mistral, uh, Mistral uh, model card. Uh, so you can see in each of these model cards, you can see the results of the individual benchmark for that model. You have a get started script so that you can start using the model. And most importantly, if you go to the files and versions, uh, what you actually find here are the test results. Um, so just to quickly show you an example of what this is, this is a really fast, common sense, easy way to see what kind of accuracy does this model get on what kinds of questions and is it gonna be suitable for my use case? So here you can quickly eyeball um, the 200 total questions that were included in the benchmark test, both the LLM response and the gold answer. So you can see if the model got the answer right. But then what we also include is a script so both you can get started using the model, but you can also go and run that test very quickly. This is actually gonna load that benchmark test, which is available as a data set um, on Hugging Face. This is going to go load the model um, using the canonical transformers um, you know, uh, model loading. It then shows you how the prompt is actually packaged. We used a very simple human bot wrapper, um, very similar um, to the assistant framework very assistant to what's used in Red Pajama, what's been used with some Pythia fine tunings. Um, it's a very, very simple wrapper, easy programmatically then to use. Um, you use a standard hugging face generation. And what this will actually do then is this will recreate for you um, the, the test um, output, and as well as giving you a very simple recipe so you can start incorporating these models into whatever work that you're doing. Um, we include a standard canonical hugging face um, script but then we also include an LLMware script. The benefit then with uh, LLMware is you can start integrating this into a prompt for a real RAG scenario where you're parsing and ingesting um, business documents. 
as well as the out-of-the-box capability then to start running all kinds of fact checks um, around that generation that comes out of the LLM. So both of these scripts are provided. They're really simple and easy to use. But what both of these scripts do assume is that you do have access to a GPU server. Um, this 7 billion parameter model, there are some quantizations um, available on Hugging Face that you can go get, the GGUF um, format. Um, but generally speaking, these models are designed for inference to be run on a GPU. And this is where we would encourage you to actually flip back. You can look at the Bling models. Um, one of the popular Bling models, just as an example, is the Sheared Llama model. It works exactly the same. Um, it has exactly the same test results. Um, so you can see the test result framework is the same. The results are a little bit lower. This is a 1 billion parameter model that you can run locally. Um, and it has the exact same test script then. So all you have to do, you could start using a Bling model, you could run this locally on your laptop, and then all you have to do is change the model name when you move this over to a GPU and to production. Now there's a whole set of really cool stuff that we're doing um, that are gonna be shown in a series of follow-up videos to show you how to use these Dragon models, a whole set of different ways that you can deploy them in a pop-up inference server, and ways that you can start deploying them really rapidly in a few lines of code in just a few minutes to set these up and to get them running with LLMware. Um, so this concludes our video. Please stay tuned um, for some of the series um, to come where we get in and we start using some of these models. And please uh, go ahead and check out um, the LLMware homepage on Hugging Face and the Dragon models. Um, thanks again for tuning in.